Okay, now in last class, which lesson did we do in Max? Please unmute yourself and you answer. Mayesh Shamale, which lesson did we do last week? Length. 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 Very good. So what did you learn in the lesson length? There are two types of measuring units, right? One is standard unit of measuring and the other one length. is non-standard unit. Right? Which is the standard unit measure length? Length. Meter. Very good. Meter is the standard unit to measure length. Okay, which is which are the non-standard units that are used to measure length? Cubit. Very good. Cubit. Cubit. Hundred. And span. Good morning. And span and the foot foot pace. Okay, foot span. Foot span or pace. So these are these three are the non-standard units of measuring. Length. Okay, you'll remember, right? Two uh, different types of measuring, uh, two different types of uh, units to measure yeah. length is standard and non-standard. Under standard, you have meter. And then under non-standard uh, measurement of length, you have hand span, foot span, and cubit. Okay, you all know what is cubit. Yeah. Cubit is the measurement, that is the distance between the tip of your middle finger to the tip of your elbow. And hand span is from the tip of your little finger to the tip of your thumb finger. This is called as hand span. And foot span is the, the space between each step that you take. Okay, that is called as foot span. Now in today's class, we are going to move on to the next lesson, which is weight. Okay, so which lesson are we going to do today? Which lesson are we going to do? Weight. Wait, very good. Wait. Okay. Now, in this lesson, when your mommy goes to shop to buy some vegetables, so if she wants to buy tomato from the shop, from the vegetable shop, how will she ask the uh, shopkeeper? Kg. Me? Kg. Very good. She will use the word kg, right? Okay. She will use the word kg. She may say, give me two kgs of tomato or give me one kg of tomato. Same thing went with onions also, right? You all understand, right? So which is which is the measuring unit used to weigh, uh, to weigh weight? It is kg or grams. Good morning, ma'am. Okay, kg or grams. We use these two generally to measure weight, the weight of an object. Okay, so and have you all seen in the shop, children? What is this? Which page on site? Do not open your book now. I'll tell you when you have to open. What is this called as? What is this called as? Very good. This is called as a balance, weighing balance. Okay, remember. When you go to the shop, in one one of the pan, they will keep the weights and the other pan, they will keep the object that you want to buy or the fruit or vegetable that you have to buy, right? If you want to buy one kg of apple, then they put one kg, the weight of one kg here and apples will be kept here. So once they balance that, the apples are given to you, right? Yes. So what is this called as children? This instrument is called as? Man. Balance. Okay, what is this called as? Weighing balance. Okay, you're going to weigh the object or the vegetables or fruits, whatever you're going to weigh. Okay, so remember, when you place, okay, when you place the object on both the pans, pan which is heavier, Okay, the pan which is heavier, more weight. Which side will the balance go? Good morning, Ma. Which side will the balance go? The pan which has heavier object will always go down, right? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, so remember, in case in this, if you have 2 kg of apple and here you have only 1 kg weight kept over here, which side is heavier? 
children? Look at it. Two kg. So when this two kg of apple is heavier, the pan will go down this side only. Okay. So they will start removing the apples to balance it to one kg. Do you all understand? That is why both the pans. If one kg is heavier, then this will go down, right? If this is heavier, this will go down. So they will start removing the object so that it balances. Okay, that is called. That is why it is called as weighing balance. It balances both the pans. Okay, do you all understand? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, now, now let us take your reader. Take your reader and turn your book to page number one hundred and eighty-three. Okay. Okay. Turn your book to page number one hundred and eighty-three. Ma. Yes, Tigran. Mama. Yes, Mama. Mama. Yes, one hundred and eighty. Ma'am, what page number? One hundred and eighty-three. One eight three. Okay, turn your book to page number one hundred and eighty-three. Apna apne. The ones who have too much of noise in the background, kindly mute yourself, ma. Don't disturb the class. Me. Okay. Now page number one hundred and eighty-three. Here, you are going to learn about thick and thin. Ma'am, what is thick? What is thin? Right. Okay. Anything like that? This thing, anything which is lesser uh, thing in thickness, that is called as thin. Between these two pictures, which is thick and which is thin? Pencil is thick. First one is thick. The second one is thin. Very good. Okay. Now the second one, tail of an elephant is thin. Can you see the tail of this elephant? Tail. Yes. So the tail of the elephant is thin, while the leg of the elephant is thin. Right? The tail of the elephant is thin. The leg of an elephant is thin. Now here the rope is thicker. Right? The skipping rope that the girl is using. That rope is. While the thread that is used to fly a kite, that is thin. Thin. Okay, do you understand the difference here between thick and thin? Yes. Okay, now turn your book to the next page. Okay, turn your book to the next page. Follow the thick ones. Here you have two books given here. Okay, which book is thicker? Second one. The first one. Very good. Using your pencil, just color it lightly. Using your pencil, just color it lightly. Okay, color the book lightly. Don't press and color. Just lightly, you can color it. Okay. Everyone, color. The first one, yes. The first book you're going to color. Okay, or if you have color pencil, you can color it. Color it even using your color pencils. Okay. Now, second one, you have two pencils given. Which pencil is thicker, children? Second pencil. Second pencil. Very good. So the second pencil again, color it. Okay, ma'am. Yes. Is this Max? Max textbook. Okay, this is your Max textbook, and turn your book to page number one hundred and eighty-four. Okay, turn your book to page number one hundred and eighty-four. Okay, pencil, the thicker pencil, the second one you have colored, right? Yes. Now next one you have two soaps here. Which one is thicker? Very good. The first soap. So color the first soap, children. If you have a color pencil, use your color pencil. Otherwise, using your pencil itself, but color it lightly. Don't press and color lightly. You can color it. Okay. Color the first soap. Okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. 
Yes, if you have your color pencil, use your color pencil. If you don't have color pencil, then using use your pencil itself. Yes, yes, Leo. What page number? One eighty four, one hundred and eighty four. Okay, page number one hundred and eighty four. Okay, all of you are finished. The next one, you have two candles given. Okay, which candle is thicker? Second one. Second candle. Second candle. Very good. So you will color the second candle. Okay, color the second candle too. Okay, color the second candle. Okay, now next picture circle the thin ones. So far, you had colored the thick ones. Good morning, please. Good morning, Tasmia. Okay, Tasmia, take your Max reader, take your Max textbook, and turn your book to page number one hundred and eighty-four. Okay. Now, the rest of you all, first, main, you had colored the pictures which was thick. Right now, you have to circle the pictures which is. Thin. Okay, the first picture you have a stick and then you have a log here, which is thin. Then the stick, the small. The second picture is the one which is thin. Circle that. You just need to put a circle around the stick. Okay, the circle around the stick. Okay, all of you, let's put a circle. Yes. The second picture, you have a tree, and then you have a money plant. These two, which one is thin? Second picture, which is the money plant. Okay, so circle the money plant. Okay, circle money plant. The second picture. Frederick, you have circled it, right? Yes, ma'am. Roshan. Yes, ma'am. You finished circling? Yes, ma'am. Yes, very good. Now turn your book to the next page, page number one hundred and eighty-five. Okay, turn your book to page number one hundred and eighty-five. It's a thick object. Okay, you have two sticks given here. Okay, it looks like a bamboo stick. You have two sticks given here. Which stick is thicker, children? Second one. Very good. Second, second picture one. in the box. Put second a tick mark. One. Yes, put a tick mark in the second picture. Okay. Okay. All of you have put a tick mark in the second picture. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Now, second one, you have a box given and a soap given. Which one is thicker? First one. Uh, First, first one. one. Very good. Under the first one, in the box, put a tick mark. Okay, put a tick mark. Okay, all of you have finished? Yes. Yes. Okay, now next one. The thick object. Okay, here, Ribbon, in this one, you need to take, uh, take the thicker object. First, one, you have a mattress, and second one, you have something like a quilt. Which one is thicker here? Second one. Very good. Put a tick mark in the second one. Under the second picture on the box, put a tick mark. Okay. The next one you have a, you have two crayons given here. Which crayon is thicker? First one. First one. Very good. Put a tick mark in the first picture. 
Mm -hmm. So in your textbook, okay. under weight, you have only these given here. Okay, but I will be giving you notes as well in your classwork. Okay, now what I'm going to give you is... Okay, now I'm going to ask you a few questions, children. What do we use to measure weights of objects? Very good. Very good. Who told that? Very good. Very good. Yes. What do we use to measure the weight of weight of objects? We use a balance. Okay. Remember those two pans which are in the weighing machine, right? That is called as balance. Okay. Weighing balance. We use the weighing balance to measure the weight of objects. Okay. Now you have two pans given here. Okay, you have two fans given here. In this, you have a feather. Okay, you have a feather in one fan, and then you have a, a mango in the other fan. Okay, you have a feather in one fan, and you have a mango in one fan. Now, which fan is heavier? Mango. Mango. Mango, so when mango is heavier. What happens mango. to the fan here? Will it go down or will it go up? It will go down. Okay, the heavier pan will go down because of the weight. It will go down. Okay, do you understand? Okay. See now, if I have two pans over here, okay, if I have two pans over here, and I'm going to keep a mobile in one of the pan, which is heavier, children? The pan which is empty or the pan with the mobile? Mobile. So what happens is because of the weight, the pan goes down. Do you understand? Okay, so what happens? The pan goes down. The, the pan with a heavier object goes down. Do you all understand? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, so here now in these two, okay, the pan with the mango and the pan with the feather. Which pan is heavier? It is mango. Mango. So what happens to this pan? It goes down. Okay, so remember, anything which is heavy, it is always, it always goes Okay. Then mass is measured. Okay. What is mass? Anything which is thick. Okay. It is called as mass. Anything which has uh, uh, which has mass is called as an object. It is thick. You can measure this. Right. Okay. And what do we measure this? It is measured in like for length. For length, you use meter to measure. Right. That is a standard unit of uh, length. Meter is a standard unit of length. Yes. 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 For weights, remember grams is the unit. Okay, grams is what we use to measure. For the lighter objects, it is grams. For heavier objects, we use kg. Okay, or kilograms. Okay, do you understand? Grams or kilograms. Kilograms. Okay, so to measure mass, what is used? We use either grams or kilograms depending on how heavy the object is. Okay, do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Now, when you yes, go to a shop, what does the shopkeeper use to balance and to measure the weight of vegetables, children? KG. KG. It uses kg, but then when you go to when your mother says you give me one kg of uh, tomato, in what does he weigh? In what does he weigh the weight balance? Balance, right? It's called weight balance. So it uses a balance and weight. Right? Okay, you have two, you have two uh, plates, right? In one could have kept the tomato. Yes, in one a pan, one, one of the pan he keeps tomatoes, right? And the other pan he's going to keep the one kg two one kg weight. One kg. Okay, this is called as weights. What is this called as? Weight. Weight. Weights. Very good. So in order to measure tomato or vegetable, any vegetable, he's going to use weights. Okay, you get weights in different. Measurement, you get 50 grams also, you get you get 100 grams, then you get 500 grams, 250 grams, 1 kg, 2 kg, etc. Okay, you get many different weights. 
So depending on how much of vegetable you're going to buy, he's going to place that date over here and measure and then give the vegetable to you. Okay. So what does the shopkeeper use to measure the vegetables? He uses a balance. Weight balance. Weights. Okay. So what does he use? He uses the balance. Weights. Did you all understand? So no children. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, what does the shopkeeper use to weigh vegetables? He uses weight balance. Weight, weight and balance. balance. Okay, it's not weight balance. It is weights. That is these. Okay, weights and then the balance. Okay, he uses both. Okay, next one. A weighing balance has how many pans or how many plates does a weighing balance have? Two. 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 Very good. A weighing balance has two pans. Right? One to keep the vegetable and the other one is to keep the weights. Kg. Yes, to keep the kg or the weights over here. So he has two different pans. Okay, now bigger unit of mass or the bigger unit of an object in what you all measure? Bigger units in what you measure? Mass. Kg. Very good. It is kg. Use kg to measure bigger units. Okay, smaller units are used. Grams are used to measure smaller units. Okay, do you all understand? Yes. Very good. Okay, so today's class, what did you learn? Kg. Learned about weight, right? So what is used to measure the weight of an object? Then heavy and light. Krutanya, height. Classwork. I will be sending you. Okay, I'll be sending you the notes for classwork in the group. Okay, but now I just want to revise what we did today in the class. Now, what do we use to measure the weights of an object? Nothing. Kg. What is this instrument called as? Weight and balance. Very good. You use balance. We use balance to measure the weight of an object. The heavier pan, does it go up or does it go down? Up. Up. Very good. The weight of an object. Okay, remember if the object is heavier, it will go down. Okay. And the shopkeeper uses two things, right? To measure the object or the vegetable. What does he use? He uses weights and the balance. Okay, so what, is, what, are, what are the things that the shopkeeper uses? He uses weights and balance. Okay? Balance. The weighing balance is what is used. And the balance has how many plates? Two plates. Two plates. Very good. Okay, remember the smaller unit of mass. To measure smaller unit of mass, we use grams. Okay? And to measure bigger unit of mass, we use kilograms or kg. Okay, so what are the two different units used to measure um, objects or mass? Kg grams. Very good. Kg and grams. Okay. I will be sending you the notes. If you all have anyone has any doubt, children? No, ma'am. Okay. If you don't have any doubts, then we will wind up the class. I'll send you the notes now. Okay. I want you to complete the notes and send it in the group. Okay, children? Okay, ma'am.